Imagine walking into a store where you can buy a robot butler for less than $300 or a lifelike Albert Einstein that actually responds to your questions. This isn't science fiction anymore. It's happening right now in Beijing. China just opened the world's first robot mall, and it's about to change everything we thought we knew about the future of technology. From dancing robot dogs to humanoid pharmacists, this four-story wonderland is selling over 100 different types of robots to regular consumers. But here's the crazy part. This is just the beginning of China's master plan to dominate the global robotics industry. On August 8, 2025, China made history by opening the world's first full-scale robot mall in Beijing's high-tech E-Town district. This isn't just another tech store. It's a glimpse into humanity's robotic future. The four-story facility showcases more than 100 robots from over 40 brands, including major Chinese companies like Ubtec Robotics and Unitree Robotics. What makes this so significant? Timing is everything. The opening coincides with the 2025 World Robot Conference, running through August 12th, where nearly 500 experts from over 20 countries are gathering to discuss the latest robotics trends. But that's not all. Just days later, Beijing will host the 2025 World Humanoid Robot Games from August 14th to 17, where humanoid robots will compete in 21 events, ranging from athletics and soccer to drug sorting and performance challenges. This robot mall represents China's bold strategy to bring robotics from research labs directly into people's homes. Unlike traditional tech showcases, this facility operates on a practical 4S model, sales, service, spare parts, and customer feedback, treating robots exactly like we treat cars today. The message is clear. Robots aren't futuristic concepts anymore. They're consumer products ready for mass adoption. As Wang Yifan, the mall director, explains, if robots are to enter thousands of households, relying solely on robotics companies is not enough. Step inside this robotic wonderland, and you'll find yourself in what feels like a car dealership from the future. The facility follows the proven 4S model, offering sales, service, spare parts, and customer surveys all under one roof. But instead of cars, you're shopping for your new robot companion. The variety is absolutely mind-blowing. Prices start at just 2,000 yuan, about $278, and can reach several million yuan for advanced models. On the budget end, you might find robot vacuum cleaners or simple companion bots. At the premium level, there are sophisticated humanoid assistants that can perform complex tasks. The showroom features robots that play soccer and Chinese chess, alongside historical figure replicas of scientists Albert Einstein and Isaac Newton, plus Li Bai, one of China's greatest poets. Visitors can watch dancing robotic dogs in lion dance costumes, humanoid robots dispensing traditional Chinese medicine, and machines that flip pancakes, brew coffee, shoot basketballs, and even paint artwork. But it's not all perfect yet. Robots still show very human-like tendencies to make mistakes. One designed to sort trash from dishes in a cafe picked up a coffee cup, but then just held it in mid-air, requiring a worker to reset its software. This honest display of current limitations actually builds more trust than polished demonstrations would. China isn't just entering the robotics game. They're completely rewriting the rules. The country already accounts for 52% of robot installations worldwide, making it the largest industrial robot market on the planet. To put this in perspective, in 2022, China installed nearly 290,000 industrial robots compared to the U.S.'s 39,000. The numbers behind China's robot revolution are staggering. China's embodied AI market is projected to grow from 863.4 billion yuan, $119 billion, in 2024 to 973.1 billion yuan, $134 billion, in 2025. That's a massive 12.7% growth in just one year. The broader Chinese robotics market is expected to reach $14.63 billion by 2034, growing at a 7.5% annual rate. This isn't happening by accident. China's Made in China 2025 strategic initiative is driving this transformation, with the government providing unprecedented support and funding. Some provincial governments have announced investment plans that would be equivalent to the United States investing $4 trillion on a per-GDP basis. 
China now has 322 industrial robots per 10,000 employees, ranking fifth globally behind South Korea, Singapore, Japan, and Germany. But here's the kicker. China has the fastest growing robot market in the world. And this robot mall is just the beginning of their plan to dominate consumer robotics too. This robot mall isn't just a Chinese story. It's a wake-up call for the entire world. China's aggressive push into consumer robotics is creating ripple effects that will reshape global technology competition for decades to come. For other countries, particularly the United States and European nations, this represents both a challenge and an opportunity. Some U.S. robotics companies, including Tesla and Boston Dynamics, have already called on lawmakers to develop a national strategy that can compete with China's comprehensive approach. The concern is real. While Western companies have traditionally led in robotics innovation, China's massive scale, government support, and cost advantages are quickly closing that gap. For consumers worldwide, this development signals a fundamental shift. Robots are transitioning from expensive industrial tools to affordable household items. The normalization of robot ownership in China will inevitably influence global markets, potentially driving down prices and accelerating adoption everywhere. The implications extend beyond individual purchases. As robots become commonplace in Chinese society, the country will generate massive amounts of real-world usage data, giving Chinese companies invaluable insights for improving their products. This data advantage could compound over time, making Chinese robots more capable and user-friendly than competitors. Perhaps most importantly, this robot mall demonstrates that the future many predicted is arriving faster than expected. Countries and companies that fail to adapt to this robotic reality risk being left behind in what's becoming the most important technological race of our generation. The robot mall is just the opening act in China's grand robotics theater. The upcoming World Humanoid Robot Games from August 14th to 17 will showcase robots competing in everything from track and field to dance performances, with over 100 teams registered to participate. This isn't just entertainment, it's a proven ground for the next generation of consumer robots. Wang Yifan, the robot mall director, revealed that other Chinese cities are already building similar facilities. This suggests a nationwide rollout is planned, potentially creating a network of robot stores across China. Imagine robot malls becoming as common as electronic stores, fundamentally changing how we think about technology retail. The technological evolution is equally exciting. Major advances in AI, large language models, perception systems, and power efficiency are making robots more versatile, cost-effective, and scalable for real-world applications. We're moving beyond simple task-specific robots toward truly intelligent, multi-purpose companions. The Chinese government has set ambitious goals, with policies in place to promote mass production and establish a robust robotic supply chain by 2027. This isn't a distant future scenario. We're talking about just two years from now. For the rest of the world, the question isn't whether robots will become mainstream, but how quickly other countries will adapt to this new reality. The robot mall in Beijing might be the first, but it certainly won't be the last. So here's my question for you. Are you ready for a world where buying a robot is as normal as buying a smartphone? Drop a comment below and let me know. What's the first robot you'd want to own? And what task would you want it to handle? Would you feel comfortable walking into a robot mall tomorrow? Or does this whole concept still feel too futuristic? If you found this glimpse into our robotic future as fascinating as I did, Smash that subscribe button and hit the notification bell.